Hello and welcome to uh, the Super Metroid Link to the Past randomizer. So um, I'm gonna try this uh, setup with my Blue Yeti mic. Um, there's gonna be a lot of controller noise unfortunately but I'm gonna do my best to cut that out when I can. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna jump into this randomizer because this is by far the most fun out of um, the Link to the Past randomizers and the Super Metroid randomizer. The combination is the best one. Uh, and I played a number of these um, so I'm not really new to it at this point but you still never know uh, what you're gonna get. And um, There will always be at least one point or two, it's usually more than one uh, point where I will get stuck and not really know what to do and that's probably gonna happen here as well. Oh yeah, great. So um, I'm hoping to get a seed where um, I don't find too many good items in the beginning. And I also hope that um, the randomizer won't uh, hold me to like one game at a time, but I get to go in between both games. So let's go to Link to the Past now. There's only one item you can really get in Super Metroid uh, at this early in the game, and uh, it's usually crap, so. I'm just gonna go straight into Zelda and we're gonna go to Kakariko Village. Ow, I'm not doing a good job. So I have a different controller this time, but yet again, it's, uh, it's very crappy. It doesn't seem like you can get a good USB controller, so it's kind of sad, but Oh well. So once again, you'll see some funny movement here and there. E-tank, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get all of the items. Um, all of like the main items, probably. Yeah, yeah I will. I won't be getting all of the... Um, all of the um, like uh, missiles and super missiles, um, probably. I'll try to get all all of the E tanks, but like all the main items, I will get. And I I'll probably gonna beat all of the bosses in a Link to the Past as well. So anyway, here we go. Let the fun begin. Nothing. Yeah, once again, the D-pad on this controller is really weird. Always seems like they just can't get the D-pad right. So I'm gonna get a uh, guaranteed bomb drop right here. And I'm gonna invest it in blowing this wall up. No. There we go. I've forgotten how to play this game. and I'm gonna go one more round in here yeah so I can't really do precision movement unfortunately with this uh, stupid controller so We'll see how it goes, though. So far, nothing in particular. Like, until we really get the uh, Morph Ball, we can't really do much in Super Metroid. 
Unless we get to another, um, like, entrance to Super Metroid. And for Link to the Past, the lantern always gives me a lot of troubles if I don't get it early. So, we'll see. We'll see what I get. And hopefully this recording turns out well. Well, there we go. There we go. Wow, okay, yeah, we could go back to Super Metroid soon. Oh, the sword. Yeah, these recordings are always a little bit dodgy. Sometimes my uh, my computer... Um, I don't know. Seems to have no problem recording. Uh, other times it does, so... We'll just have to wait and see. Alright, let's see if we can get five more rupees, maybe. So we can get the, uh, the stuff from this guy. But yeah, that's pretty good. Getting the uh, Morph Ball this early. And with Power Bombs and Missiles, we can do a lot in uh, Super Metroid. But we still have a lot of stuff that we can check out uh, in A Link to the Past, so... Heart piece... And uh, I think that's it. Really. Let's see if I can get those five rupees. to you. Go away. Okay, I'm gonna do this. A heart. Cool. Okay, so let's check out the uh, Lost Woods. See what kind of goodies I can get there. Yeah, my favorite aspect of, of this randomizer is that it always gets a bit complicated at, at some point. So, um, and, and that's what's fun about randomizers, right? Is when you when you when you have to use your brain. To think up all kinds of different places where you could possibly find stuff and where you can go and where you can't go and stuff like that. You really have to analyze the game. And so there's probably going to be times when I'm going to have to cut out myself sitting here thinking about what I can do and what I can't do. So it should be fun. Okay, let's um, stop by Sanctuary. And then I guess we could go to uh, Hyrule Castle. Wow. The heart that is always there. Yeah, I've been watching I've been watching some uh, Ocarina of Time randomizers lately. 
And that looks really fun too, but I'm pretty sure my, my computer couldn't handle that, so... No OOT randomizers for me. At least not yet. Maybe in the future. Ow. Um... What did I say I was gonna do again? The castle, right. Uh, I am gonna stop by Sahasrala, Sahasrala, though. See what I can get here. The mirror. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, that was pretty good. See, the only complaint I guess I have is that it seems like you find most of the Link to the Past items in Link to the Past and the most Super Metroid items in Super Metroid. Um, whereas, of course, since this is a hybrid, you want it to be the items to be scattered all over both games. But I don't know, I think last time I played this, I got a pretty good seed. Where I had to go in between both games. Many times. I just remembered, we have the, the home too, or the house. Link's house. Missiles. I think um, I'm actually gonna go down here first to get stuff out of this place. I'm probably gonna utilize um, save and quit a lot as well. Ooh, and I can do this. Oh yeah, I I was thinking about maybe doing like a makeshift item tracker. Um, maybe, that might be too much work though. So I was thinking about maybe downloading one and have it in the video, but again, I have to... Since my computer doesn't like OBS, apparently, or whatever the problem is, I, I think it's just, you know, it just doesn't have enough, uh, you know, it's just not good enough to record uh, or, and uh, play a game simultaneously. Um, so if you add an item tracker to the mess, then it might be even worse. So I was thinking about making a makeshift one. I might do that. But probably not. Or I might record an item tracker. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna be too lazy. I was thinking about saving and quitting there, but... We're still gonna stick around this area. Aha! Ow. 
All right, let's go for the mother load. Oh yeah, I have my uh, button showing as well. Down in the left corner. So... Oh wow, spacer. And more missiles. And uh, there we go. Another heart piece and money. Not too bad. If I do say so myself. Let's make the dangerous trek to the ice cave. Okay. Oh no no. Oh that's right, I have the uh, the blue tunic. Or the blue mail. So I won't take that crazy damage. Okay. Ow. The lovely ice cave. Ooh, the magic powder. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. And... Um, let's start from my house. So let's see what I'll get here uh, in the castle. And if I don't get anything good, I will save and quit. Well, I will save and quit anyway, but if I don't get anything good, we're gonna go to... Um... Oh my god. We're gonna go to Super Metroid. bombs and more missiles don't have any super missiles yet though Okay, let's do this. It's one of the more boring parts of the game. Yeah, again, because of the controller, I'm using a lot of poking instead of actually slashing. Because um, since you can't do precision movement with this controller, you never know what will happen in a fight, so it's just safer to, to do this. See? I was trying to turn, but it wouldn't do it, because this uh, controller sucks. And this kind of shit happens. Oh, 
whatever. Oh, the map. Yay. Yeah, it's too bad that you can't uh, do like um, a key sanity in this um, in the SMA SMALTTP randomizer because uh, key sanity is a lot more fun actually than like the normal version because obviously when you're playing like the normal randomizers all the keys that are necessary for a dungeon will be in that dungeon meaning that you know for for a fact that most of the stuff that you'll find will be keys so and I got the mushroom so I'm gonna have to go and turn that in so let's stop by the sanctuary oh yeah that's right But so far, I'd say the seed is, uh, seems pretty good. We're, we're getting some interesting stuff. Uh, not too much, but not too little as well. So... Uh, okay, I don't have 500 rupees, so... No Saurus River for me. Not yet, anyway. But I kind of want to go back to Super Metroid anyway, so. Oh, that's right. What do we get? Ooh, a bottle. Which means I could go get the bug catching net, but. Let's go back to Super Metroid. Since we do have a lot of items there, we can do most stuff we can do in the beginning of that game, so... Alright, back in we go! And we're a lot stronger now. Oh, that was the, uh... Wait, what did I get? I did get the spacer. I want that. Um... Oh no, damn, um, I don't have the controls set the way I want them to for Super Metro, that's gonna be really annoying. The item select button is the, uh, well, select button, and I like to have it on, um, oh my god, what is it, is it Y? I think it is Y. I'll have to fix that for the next, uh, next episode. So I guess, I don't think I said this, but I'm not going to really do any sequence breaks per se, because I want to follow the logic of the randomizer, because it's most fun that way, in my opinion. But I will probably do wall jumps here and there. Now yet again, with this controller, I can't really do wall jumps very well, but um, a little bit, I can do a little bit. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Nope. What? Ah, oh, I hate that I can't do what I want to do in this freaking game. 
Okay, that was kind of anticlimactic, but oh well. Let's see what's up here. Super missiles. I can't get them though. Damn. Nope, I can't get them. So, that's fine. Oh, we can actually get what's uh, behind the... Um, Um, the morph ball. So let's do that. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to get used to this now. Choosing items with uh, with select. So I didn't want to continue there because of the side hoppers. I would probably have died if I did. And I'm not even gonna try to wall jump up this because uh, it's not gonna work. It never does. So I might do a little bit of it though. as well. Very nice. Ooh, the power glove. That's very good. Let's see what the bomb Teresa has for us. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. Get both of those right away like that. That's pretty crazy. And I can't do the Alcatraz escape with this controller. It's just about impossible, so I'm not even gonna try. And yet again, I'm trying to press Y when I need to press Select. Because of me not thinking before starting this. Also, I need to be careful because um, I don't want to run out of uh, power bumps, obviously, at a bad time. Also, um, I found over having played so much randomizers now that it's so easy to get stuck in Super Metroid um, without being able to get out of it. So, I need to be really careful here. Okay, so I won't do the uh, the mock ball here, for instance, but I will get what's uh, what I can get in this room. Which is just a hard piece. Oh well. And um, I can still continue. I think I'm gonna go in here and refill actually. I could go down there as well, but that, that might be a little bit dangerous at this point. I do have the reserve tank though. Mm -hmm. 
So what do I do? I think I'm gonna wait and see what's over here first. I could get up here. I, I will allow myself to do that, but because I'm still not sure if they they want you to wait until you have the grappling beam or if you're allowed to use wall jumps. I don't really know, um, but I tend to use a little bit of wall jumping here and there when I when I do these randomizers. So. Okay. Okay, so at this point we have two choices. Actually, three. So we could check out the Etkun's area if you wanted to. Um, we could uh, go back to Blue Brinstar and go through the power bomb door that is in the next room so we could continue because we can't get through this door right now or we can go back to a link to the past and i guess i will decide that in the next episode so thanks for watching and uh see you on the next one bye